Ah, uh, mommy, I'll clean it up. I promise I... Wait, uh, what happened? Are you awake? Yes, I am. Now. I am finding it nearly impossible to achieve the proper sleeping state. I cannot get comfortable. Uh, that's because your sleep pod is too small for you. You've needed a new one for at least two life cycles. I don't want a new one. I like this one. It is mine and it is just right. But you've outgrown it, Flip. Why don't you just use my old sleep pod? It's still in good condition and it's bigger. Uh, that one is too big. Better too big than too small. Your body is way too tall for that tiny sleep pod. I disagree. If I squeeze my tentacles in like this, and fold both of my flippers like so, see, I fit. Okay, great, good night. I'm okay. Okay. I'm sleeping in the kitchen. Riding through the solar system, our spaceship hit a rock. We crashed down on the nearest planet and waited for a tow truck. It would only take 3,000 years, so we thought we'd look around and learn planet from the creatures that we found and when they speak they always sing so we learn from all the animals how to be an the proper resting posture. Uh, Mosey, you are sleeping on the kitchen counter. You must relocate so I can access the bean water. Mosey, you need to move off the counter. Uh. Oh, look, a real Gooblars marathon is on the Halavision today. Really? What time? I thought they... Whoa! Ooh, I fell on my keys. Ah, smells wonderful. Ah, there is nothing like a steaming hot cup of caffeinated bean water in the morning. So uh, great to dip your antennas into. Ah, another excellent Earthling custom. Flip, you're not supposed to dip your antennas in the caffeinated bean water. You're supposed to put your tentacles in it. Like so. Oh, that's good stuff. Uh, Mosey, please get your own bean water. I really need this cup to reach the proper state of wakefulness. Uh, uh, I did not have enough of the sleep. That's because your sleep pod is too small. I still don't understand why you don't just try sleeping in my old one. Out of the question. You have Uncle Teddy stickers all over it. Not all over it. There's only 78. But clearly you have already used it significantly. Uh, of course I would love a new, fresh, clean sleep pod. <sighs> Uh, but how would I get one? Our spaceship is currently not functioning, and Pod Dash will not deliver to this system. Ugh. And besides, they never get your order right. Hmm. Also, I like my sleep pod as it is. It is so nice and uh, cozy, and uh, uh, and it smells like me. Oh, it used to be so comfy. My bed's so warm and fluffy. 
Like a flight of gloves cocoon The sides are soft and puffy When I cuddle them and spoon After a full meal It just makes me feel like a helium balloon That's drifting off away upon the breeze makes me so happy it's my favorite place to be when I go to take a nappy and snuggle in cozily and I close my eyes as the quiet rises up and over singing in your sleep. Really? Ugh, I hate it when I do that. But at least it was nice to see you looking comfortable. Ugh. If only I had a new sleep pod, I could make it my own. But you don't need a new one. You can reuse one and, and still make it your own. But if it was previously used, it would not be entirely mine. Yes, it would. It would just be yours with a backstory. It would have experience and character. And Uncle Teddy stickers. Um, I'm sorry, who doesn't love Uncle Teddy? Anyone in the galaxy over three life cycles. <sighs> what I mean is, you can reuse something and still make it your own. <sighs> And how exactly is that accomplished? Well, I don't know exactly. But you know an Earthling who does? Who? I have no idea. That's your thing. I mean that literally you actually know an Earthling who knows about reusing things. That is not very helpful, Mosey. But you do, don't you? Of course I do. I knew it! There's always something we can learn from the crazy creatures on planet Earth. Hermit crabs live on beaches or around oceans all over the world. Uh, uh, and they have shells that can actually come from other animals. Ooh, you had me at beaches. Let's do this thing. Hmm, I suppose this would be a good opportunity to do research for our travel pod about crustaceans in moderately warm climates. <sighs> uh-huh, uh-huh, definitely, definitely. Uh, do I bring sunglasses or just a hat? Hmm. In fact, there is an island in the Caribbean Sea near a country called Belize that is known for hermit crabs. Do I wear <sighs> the one piece or the octocini? Hmm. Mosey! Hey, sorry, one piece it is. Okay, Flip, let's go meet some helmet crabs. Hermit crabs. Them too. Now this is my idea of research. Huh. You know, it still amazes me how bright this one tiny little sun can get. Oh, it is a very powerful little star. Ugh. It emits approximately 400 trillion trillion watts of energy every second. Ugh. Why am I not surprised that you know that? Doesn't everyone? Well, I, for one, am enjoying putting my tentacles in the sand and soaking up some of that delicious brightness. Mm. Me too. Wait, really? Oh, yes. I find myself fatigued. Well, don't you want to go find an amazing Earthling to interview? 
Maybe later. Ugh, laying on this warm sand is so comforting. Yes, it is. Maybe we could just chilly here for a bit. I think you mean chill. Whatever. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I could totally go for a nap right now, but... But, but no! No, 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 no! We are gonna find you an amazing Earth Helmet Crab to talk to. Hermit Crab. That too! We can chill and relax later, but right now we have a job to do, Flip! <sighs> uh, okay, Mosey. Um, well, but... But don't tell anyone I said that, okay? It's very off-brand for me. You, you know, I'm, um, I'm having a weird day. That kitchen counter isn't as comfortable as it looks. I think we both are suffering from the effects of sleep loss, Mosey. A good night's sleep is uh, uh, a shell. Wow, that's deep, Flip. A good night's sleep is a shell. Hmm. No, Mosey, look, a shell right there. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. <gasps> and it's pretty. Oh, man, you are never going to fit in that. <laughs> Who said that? I did. Down here, by your uh, foot things. Look, Flip. Is that a homing crab? It's a hermit crab. Oh, those are cool, too. Hi there. I'm Herman. Nice to meet you. And let me guess, you're tourists, am I right? Well, we're definitely from out of town. Yeah, you're clearly not a local. Most folks around here wouldn't even try to fit in a shell that small. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to. It's OK, it's OK, I get it. It's a very nice shell. I got to admit, I thought about it myself. So you were going to try on that shell? Of course, I'm always on the lookout for a better shell. Especially in today's market. Well, what's wrong with the shell you have now? Oh, nothing yet, but eventually I'll outgrow it. It happens. And how long do you live without a shell before you grow a new one? Live without a shell? <laughs> oh, man. That's a good one. Live without a shell, he says. <laughs> oh, boy. So you require a shell for survival? Well, of course I do. Look at this abdomen. <laughs> See that soft whiteness there? I can't have that showing. <clears throat> it's both dangerous and embarrassing. So you don't just grow a new shell? No, I'm not that kind of crab. I'm a hermit crab. I gotta find a new shell on my own every time. And it has to be the right shell that's the right size. Without a shell, the sun would Bake me like an egg. Uh, I believe eggs are actually a fried food. Not in my kitchen, sister. Because, oh uh, wait, no, not a kitchen, because uh, the beach here is more like an oven. Or wait, no, uh, well now look what you did. You messed up my metaphor. Just listen. Check, 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 check it. Feel that? Can you deal with that? That hot sun, it's a lot, son. This heat, it roars like a dot, son. It's elementary, my dear Watson. This environment, 100%, is a predicament any crab will resent. When there aren't seagulls trying to eat ya, there's many other hermit crabs trying to beat ya. This shell is all that I got. A simple little structure to fend the onslaught of harsh things in a harsh world. That's why in our shells, we are all curled. And if your shell don't fit, you don't survive. So any hermit crab that wants to stay alive, you know, has to pick the perfect habitat. No caveat, that's where it's at. Don't you look at that? Oh, look out! Find the right shell. It's a hot sun in a harsh well, so find the right shell. Oh, baby! Find the right shell. Keep it going. Home is where your shell is. Sun in this harsh world, until with a shell I am partnered. A fragile exoskeletons are soft as gelatin. So I'm a veteran of picking the right shell, the right place to dwell. And when I outgrow it, I'm vulnerable. So out of all the species, hermit crabs, we have a need to find a house prosthesis. So our safety's guaranteed, and that's why I'm called. Yeah. <laughs> right it's a hot sun in a harsh world, so find the right shell. Is where you shall live. Oh, you gotta listen. Find the right shell. It's a hot sun in a hot world, so find the right shell. It's an open out here. Find the right shell. Yeah. Look at Z. 
Uh, okay, that was fire. Now I want a shell. See, Mosey, finding the right shell is very important. Isn't that correct, Herman? That's right. But if your current shell was too small, Herman, wouldn't you be willing to consider other options? Uh, sure, I but mean... But you wouldn't want some big, broken-down shell, would you? Well, no, but... But if... if you're keeping everyone awake at night because your shell doesn't fit, you should be willing to at least give it a try. Right, Herman? Uh, why do I get the feeling we're not talking about shells anymore? Well, actually, here is a perfectly suitable shell, Herman. Why don't you take this one? Oh, well, see, that one is way too big for me. So in this case, uh -huh. I... Ah! See, Mosey? It is too big for him. Sound familiar? Well, I'm sure Herman is going to keep looking to find a new shell. Actually, no, I'm not. See? He... Wait, what? Nope. Don't need to. But you do need a new shell, don't you? Well, sure. I mean, this one is getting a little uh, snug here, but I mean, it's still good. So don't you want to keep looking? I mean, it's not like a new shell is just going to walk out of the ocean and come right up to you. <laughs> Actually, that's exactly what it's like. Look. Well, they're all here for the shell. All of them? That's right. Hey, Herman. Herman, my man. What's up, buddy? Is his name Herman? Yep. Herman, hey. I thought you were called Herman. I am. Hey, Herman. Hey, Herman. But also so is that guy. Hey, Herman. And that one. Hey, Herman. And that one. Hey, Herman. And that one. Hey, Herman. Hey, the claw's looking great. Oh, thanks, Herman. So, you're all Hermans, and you're all here for this shell. Now you're catching on. But, but, but you all cannot possibly use the same shell. Oh, no, of course not. Oh, there's not going to be a fight, is there? I can't handle violence this early in the day. Relax. Everything's going to work out just fine. Everybody who wants one will get a new shell. Just wait and see. Hey, Herman! Yeah, Herman? Let's get everybody lined up, huh? Sure thing, Herman. Okay, everybody, you know how this works. Form a line, largest to smallest. Oh, hey, Herman, hey, okay. Here. Herman, you take, take that one. Take that one. You see, this here is a fairly big shell, so I'm pretty sure only one of us is going to be able to use it. But when they do, they'll give their old shell to the next smallest crab. And then that crab will give their shell to the next smallest crab, right on down the line. This is fascinating. They are actually working together to make sure everyone gets a new shell. You mean a different shell. Everything here is pre-owned, Flip. It's like a thrift store for crustaceans. Can anybody fit in this one? Herman, what about you? No, not me. Oh, no, not me either. No way. That is too big. Wait, 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 wait. What about that big guy there down in front? What's his name? Herman? Yeah, that's it. Herman. Hey, Herman, what do you think? Hey, what do you know? It fits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh. See, it's not just us Herman Krabs. Sometimes everyone needs a little help learning to let go. You see, anybody can feel cramps sometimes. You look around you and know you fight. The four walls making you feel so confined. I know, I know how you feel. But there's a way that you can shed your blues. Just give your troubles to a friend to you. Cause one crab's gold is another crab's refuse, you know.
shall make my claws look big? Uh, no comment. All right, well, how about this one? I think it really brings out the color of my eye stalks. That one is nice. Oh, that reminds me. I guess I won't need this anymore. You want to try one on? Uh, I think I'll pass. Nah. Suit yourself. Because <laughs> there's a time to find the shell. So hand jumps down the line. In no time you'll find it fits you well. Because I can take your shell. these earthlings all cooperate and work together, Mosey. I know. It starts with one shell, but in the end, they make sure everybody is covered. <laughs> covered shell. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you, Herman, for your help today. I hope you found a good shell. Well, it is a little big and got a chip on it, but I'll grow into it and I'll make it my own. Uh... Will you miss your old shell? Eh, maybe a little at first, but it's fun wearing something new and, you know, makes me feel good knowing someone else is putting my old shell to good use. <sighs> well, it was lovely meeting you. Ah, well, you too. Hey, Flip, is this one of those times where I get to say, I told you so? No, Mosey, it is not. Come on. Let's get back to the ship. Mm, are you sure? I feel like I'm supposed to gloat a little bit here, maybe laugh and do a little dance, or maybe just act really superior for a little bit. What an exciting day. We had the good fortune of visiting an island in Earth's Caribbean Sea to meet a whole lot of Hermans. They were hermit crabs, Flip. Ooh, you did learn something. Of course. I learned that hermit crabs need a shell to survive. And they don't just grow one like some other Earthlings do, so they have to find new ones as they get bigger. Yes, hermit crabs will actually use hand-me-down shells from other crabs crabs, repurposing a valuable Earth resource and putting it to good use. Yeah. So, about your sleep pod. I get it now, Mosey. It is normal to leave behind the things you outgrow, especially when someone else can use them. So, a previously used sleep pod is actually better than a new one. I'm glad you feel that way, Flip, because your old sleep pod is the perfect place to store my dirty tentacle socks. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can hardly smell them at all when you close the hatch. Mosey! What? I'm reusing it. <sighs> I need my own room. Well, thank you, Earthlings, for joining us for this guide to how to be an Earthling. We hope we helped you discover something new about your incredible home planet. And if there's one thing we've discovered, is that your planet is big. You got land, sky, and ocean? Sure, that is way too much for any two intergalactic travel guides to cover on our own. So that is where you come in. We need your help. We can't do this on our own. I need me time. What Mosey is trying to say is that we need your contributions to our Earth Guide. If you happen to notice or learn something interesting or unusual about an Earthling species on your planet, please share it with us. <laughs> you can call us on the Selly Telly Ring a Ding Dingy at 1 4 F L I P M O. That's 1 4 Flipmo. Write that down. Your field reports may be used on an upcoming Earthlings travel pod. That's one eight three three four flipmo Just like our names. Flip and Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling is a Tinkercast original production. And all of the original songs you heard in this episode were written and arranged by Jason Rabinowitz and the Pop-Ups. How to Be an Earthling is written by Kenny Curtis and Thomas Van Kalken. Written by... What does that mean? That means they put the words in our mouths, Mosey. Oh, OK. Our masterminds of original sound design are Jason Rabinowitz, Ed Rosenberg III, with help from our senior production director, Jed Anderson. And Ed Rosenberg III provides the magnificent score. Jacob Stein and Joaquin Friedman provide additional production support. Our 
executive producers are Guy Raz, Mindy Thomas, and Meredith Halpern Ranzer. A tip of the tentacles to the rest of the Tinker Cast team, including Jed Anderson, Stephanie Sosa, Henry Moskal, Jessica Bodie, Natasha Crandall, Anna Daniker, and Anna Zagorski, or as we like to call them, Anna D and Anna Z. And special thanks to the actors you heard in this episode, <laughs> including. Hi there, I'm Herman. I, I mean, Jed Anderson. And our Earthling alter egos, Courtney Shaw. And David Ryan Smith. I ate him, and his voice comes through me. Grown up Earthlings, you can follow us online at Earthling Pod. Our email address is hello at tinkercast.com. And finally, thanks to you for listening. Without you and your planet, we'd probably be in some remote galaxy screaming into the void of a black hole. But now we're screaming in your ears. And might I say, those are very oddly shaped appendages. Nosy! Until next time. Fluffy Mosey's Guide to How to Be an Earthling was made by Tinkercast and sent to you by Wondry. Thank <laughs> you.